Hello there. This is a quick tutorial on how to assign a PDF to a student, and then I'm going to show you what a student sees um, and how they can fill out their document using Doc Hub and turn it back into you as a teacher. So to begin, um, you will need to go to your classwork tab and begin by creating an assignment. The example I'm going to be using is called Poetry. Assignment 1. Give the students some information, some instructions. And go ahead and go to Add. I have the file on my desktop as a PDF, so I'm going to select from my desktop. And there is On My Nature Hike. And I'm going to go to Upload. It's a poetry assignment. That's what I'm calling it. And right here, I'm going to go to make a copy for each student. I'm going to determine whether it is for a grade or not. And I'm going to give it a due date. You do not need to give it a due date. But if you do, um, it, will, it will no longer be available for the student after the due date. You would have to go back and repost the assignment if you want to give them an extension. So now I'm going to give it to my reading a zero 03 section and to all of my students and then I'm going to assign. So it is in the process of assigning. As that's happening, I'm now going to move out of this screen and I'm going to show you the student view. So now this is this is the view for a student. Um, when they are signed in on a computer, you, um, they would go to uh, google.com, sign in using their student credentials and they can access Google Classroom two ways. Go either to classroom.google.com. They could have also gone here to the Apps Launcher and selected Google Classroom. Then I'm going to go in into the reading container. And if you notice, my teacher posted an assignment. So I'm going to move over to my classwork, and I see my assignment here. So I'm going to view my assignment, and here it is. This is me again as a student. This is what your student would see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to edit the PDF document that you've given, um, that this how the student would edit their PDF document. So they would select the document and it opens up within the same tab. You would then go here to the three dots or the inverted ellipses. It's also called the snowman. It's also called the hot dog. When you click it, you would say open in a new window. So now if you notice, I have two tabs open, the Google Classroom tab and the tab that has the PDF. Then I would select here in the middle of the, of the, in the middle of the window, the drop down menu, and I would select Doc Hub. The Doc Hub is available there so the student can open their assignment. So I'm going to just make a simple edit here. Edit information here. Um, the student can also do other things. They can, if they happen to be on a device that has a pen, they can do that. They can also upload an image um, and paste it in there. So maybe they took a picture of something, they can attach it over the top of that document. Um, so I'm going to pretend like I've already done all of my work as a student. So what I'm going to do next is I'm ready to export it or move it out of this tab. So I'm going to select this drop down menu or this, this arrow that's pointing down, not necessarily a drop down menu. So what happens at this point, ladies and gentlemen, is that you get some options. I can download it directly to my computer. Sure. I can put it into my Google Drive, but um, then I would have to go locate it and then attach it to turn it in using Google Classroom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Submit to Google Classroom. So look what happens when I select this. It says, hey, I'm going to create a share link for you. Sure, do that. Then it says Submit this document. It's, um, it says Create a share link. Upload to Google Classroom. Yes, I want to do that. So I'm going to select the icon. Another tab has opened now. So I want you to take notice that now I have four tabs. The classroom assignment tab, the original PDF, the one that I edited, 
And now it's opened a new tab ready to uh, link it to the Google Classroom. So I'm going to bring down this drop down menu and I'm going to select the correct class that I want to attach this edited document to. And then I'm going to select which assignment I want to attach it to. There it is, poetry assignment. And then down here, now down at the bottom right hand corner, you notice that it says go. So I'm going to select go. And now it has created a link that now I can attach. And now it tells me your assignment is ready to turn in. View the assignment. And so what has happened at this time now is now I have a link that is attached. So ladies and gentlemen, that is one way that your student can do can turn in the assignment. The other way could be I'm back here at this um, back at that same tab and I'm not going to use the shortcut for uploading to Google Classroom. I could download it. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to rename it here and I'm going to say updated or they could type in their first name at the beginning of the document file name. And now if you notice, it's downloaded onto my desktop. So I could come back over here to this tab. Now this is the same tab as this one, by the way, um, except this one is showing a copy of my assignment, but it actually has the same view. See, same tab. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to add, what am I adding? The downloaded edited version of my assignment. So I'm going to attach it as a file and I wanna upload it from my desktop, and there it is, updated. Then I'm going to select open and upload. So Google Classroom is great in that really your student can utilize the tools that are built within the Doc Hub, like creating a link. The, the student can um, edit the document and re-upload it. Um, your student could also, if they happen to have a paper version of your assignment, they could write it out by hand and take a picture of it and add it as a file and upload it, an image of it. So really, it's it's uh, specifically what are you, how what format will you ask your student to submit it in? Um, I hope this was helpful. That the this portion about turning it in. So I'm not actually going to turn it in yet because I do want to show you that here. By the way. Uh, you can make a comment um, as a student. So this is, I'm still in the student view. Thanks for this great assignment. <laughs> yeah, I wish students would say that. <laughs> so then I'm going to say send. And that's the student that has sent it to the teacher. And now I'm ready to turn it in. But oh, wait, wait, hold on before I turn it in. You also, as a student, your students can send you a private comment. Hi, Miss. I miss you and hit send. Then I'm going to turn it all in and it's telling me, hey, uh, you're submitting three attachments back to your teacher. Are you sure? Mm, maybe not. I don't actually need to return the original. Let me remove that. Uh, it says that a file is in the template. Sure. So then I'm going to just hit turn it in and turn it in. It's, it was saying that it's in, the, in a template file in my Google Drive. And that's it. I've turned it in. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to toggle back to this teacher view. And I'm going to show you now. Let me reload this browser. Reloading it just to make sure that I have everything. So I'm in my classwork. And then now it's just telling me here. Um, it's giving me a number. It says, hey, I have one assignment that's been turned in. Let me click that. And here it is. Um, I have one that's turned in um, and I have a class comment. That's what I meant by here it is. But here is the actual assignment. Let me click. And it looks like my student called Google Student 1 submitted it and even sent me a comment. I'm going to click on it so I can see what my student submitted to me. And there it is. Two different versions of the same assignment. A link that will take me to the edited assignment. Remember that information that I typed in when I was um, in the student view? And then they could actually see the one that I downloaded and re-uploaded. Um, it says, open in a new window. 
and uh, give me a quick second. Let me come back over here. It's telling me that there's no preview available, but if I come over here, it's here. So I would have to open this on this side and I can grade it from here. I want to give this student a hundred and I want to say you did a great job. I can post that comment and then I can return the assignment. And it is now returning back to the student. So I, now I'm going to toggle out of here, go back to the student view. I'm going to reload this. And, you know, as a student, I have tab management skills. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I only need my Google Classroom open right now. And it looks like I got a grade from the miss. Oh, yeah. She gave me 100. Oh, that's so awesome. I love my teacher. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the student view. And that is how you create an assignment, assign it to a class. A student replies using DocHub. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.